Welcome again to another episode and today we're talking about how can you use your Reels features to edit faster. This is the second part of this video to answer the questions of the previous video, focus on this. So my name is Karina Valmonte and we're answering your questions today. So the first thing that you asked me is, can I use Reels to create my own template? So in a global way, the answer is yes. So why do I say this? First is, not every reel you create has the option of use template. As you can see, here's an example of my account where some reels have the option, some don't. Now, for the ones that have, it means that you already created the template with your own reel. The only thing that you need to do is replace them with footage that you have. All it takes is grabbing this, the, pre, the, this new footage and replacing it with the older footage. Now, you have this little bar, this little square where you can choose where you want the new content to start to replace that template, okay? To replace the template. Now, I want you to remember that this is the template. It's already created. This is how it's going to be. If it's 11 seconds, it's 11 seconds. If 15 seconds, it's 15 seconds. You cannot put more information that the template has because that's why it's called a template. Okay. Now let's go to the second question that you asked me. Is there an amount of hours that you need to use this feature? The answer is no. It all depends on many things. It's a new feature, right? Second thing, they're testing it out and seeing people are liking it and also it's on location. So no, there's no amount of hours that you need to use this feature. Then the third question that you asked me, can I change the audio of the template that I chose to replace? So the answer is the following. Yes, you can go to the little music note and look for the track that you want so you can change it out. And if you don't have the option because of a glitch or for some reason, my suggestion is the following. Go to the template, replace the content that you like, download it, then upload it again, and go to the music note and choose the track that you want to use in this new video. Now, this is a longer way, but I understand that sometimes some accounts have different glitches than others. So I'm giving you just another way to do this, to recreate it and to use it. Now, some people address their concerns like, I don't want people to grab my templates and use them. Look at this. Is at the end of the day, what you have to consider is the following. You have your own style. You have your own way of creating content. Someone else using the template doesn't mean it's gonna copy your style. They just like the way you edit it. So don't be afraid of this. It's a way to share, to connect, and to really share as a creator. And also remember, the way you edit is aligned to your personal brand, to what you prefer, how you wanna share your content. No one can copy and paste that. That's you, that's your personality, that is your brand. So this concern of someone copying your style of editing, it will never be exactly the same because you have different ways of thinking. So I just wanted to rest that concerns over that side. So thank you so much for being here. I hope I answered all of your questions. If you have anything else, let me know right here below. Thank you so much. Until next time.